In this video, I would like to report on the results of the clinical trial of COVID-19 using MAF triple, colostrum MAF and whey MAF. COVID-19 is the biggest problem in the world at the moment. One of the biggest reasons is that there is no good treatment for it. However, we have been able to achieve breakthrough results in clinical trials for COVID-19. We are currently conducting COVID-19 clinical trials in Italy, the Ukraine, and Kazakhstan. At this time, I would like to report on the clinical trial in the Ukraine. The capsules used in the clinical trial were colostrum MAF and whey MAF. These are registered as food products in Japan and Sweden and as food supplements in other countries. The COVID-19 clinical trial were conducted in the Ukraine. The COVID-19 clinical trials for outpatients will be conducted as soon as we receive approval from the Ukrainian government. This is a preliminary report on the results of the COVID-19 clinical trial that I received from Dr. Galina in the Ukraine. It shows the evaluation of colostrum MAF and whey MAF. As you can see on the slide, the below points are found. No side effects were observed. The mortality rate decreased. There was a decreased need for and duration of oxygen therapy. There was decreased recovery time, shorter hospital stays, prevention of pulmonary insufficiency was observed, and decreased lymphocyte counts were restored. The doctor in charge of the clinical trial was surprised by the results. I am also very happy with the results. I will now explain the final result report that was analyzed by Dr. Yamakage. This clinical trial included 204 hospitalized, moderate to severe COVID-19 patients. They received nine capsules daily of Saisei Pharma's dietary supplements, colostrum MAF triple and whey MAF triple for two weeks. The analysis included 204 patients' background, age, comparison of the frequency of steroid use, 29-day mortality rate, number of hospital days, duration of oxygen therapy in days, ventilation, and frequency of ICU use. In the Ukraine, we divided the clinical trials into three groups. The first group was group K, the control group. This was the standard treatment only group. The average age was 65 years old with 72 patients aged 38 to 87 years. The second group was group M. This was the colostrum math group. They took colostrum math triple, nine capsules per day for two weeks, in addition to the standard treatment. The average age was 65 years old with 63 patients aged 34 to 83 years. And finally, the third group was group W. This was the whey math group. In addition to the standard of treatment, they received whey math triple, nine capsules per day for two weeks. The average age was 64 years old with 69 patients aged 38 to 90 years. First, we checked to see if the age balance of the patients was maintained. The standardized difference between each group was less than 0.1, indicating that age balance was ensured in the three groups. This is a comparison of the frequency of steroid use. We observed a trend toward a lower frequency of steroid use in the colostrum math group compared to the control group. The p-value was 0.078. The statistical significance was detected in the frequency of use of dexamethasone, especially in the colostrum math group. The p-value was 0.040. When it came to the mortality rate of the patients, there was a statistically significant reduction in the incidence of death in the colostrum math group and whey math group compared to the control group. The number of deaths among hospitalized patients during the 29 days was 11 in the control group, while the colostrum math group had two deaths and the whey math group 
had three deaths. When it came to hospitalization days, compared to the control group, there was a decreasing trend in the colostrum math and way math groups. When fatal cases were excluded and the analysis was performed by replacing the term recovery with time to recovery, a statistically significant decrease in time to recovery was observed in the way math group compared to the control group, an average decrease of about 0.8 days. With respect to the duration of oxygen therapy, there was a statistically significant decrease in the colostrum math and way math groups compared to the control group. The average reduction was 2 to 2.1 days. As a sensitivity analysis, we also present the results of the analysis excluding fatalities, which showed similar results. With regards to the frequency of ventilation and ICU use, there was a statistically significant decrease in the frequency of ventilation and ICU use in the way math group compared to the control group. There was also a trend toward less frequent use of ventilation and ICU in the colostrum math group compared to the control group. Here is the results summary. Compared to the control group, both the colostrum math and way math groups showed higher efficacy. This was especially noticeable in the way math group. The mortality rate was statistically significantly reduced in both the colostrum math and way math groups. The duration of oxygen therapy was statistically significantly lower in both the colostrum math and way math groups. And the proportion of patients on ventilators and in the ICU was statistically significantly lower in the way math group. I am very happy to see such a clear effect. Thank you for watching. We should be able to report the results of the COVID-19 clinical trials in Italy and Kazakhstan next month. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.